Hey and welcome to another video where we show you some insights of uh, what we're bringing to our overland journey today. It's tools. We are now on the road 30,000 kilometers and we had to fix a couple of things around the car. As I said, luckily nothing major but always like small things that I like to address before the issue gets bigger or you even uh, break down. Let's start here. We have a crowbar or alignment iron to put things in place when they don't fit really um, comes in handy, especially with suspension parts and so on. Then a small hammer. We have a set of spanners from 22 till eight almost all odd sizes. I should have brought a 27 as well because you need a 27 for the alignment of the steering. I don't have that. I might get that later down the road. Up here we have a big torque wrench that goes from 50 to 350 Newton meters. That's especially important for the wheel bearings. The torque wrench has a half inch drive and therefore we have some nuts with half inch drive, all the major sizes from 13 till, what's that, 32 in long. Then we have a couple of other ones in short as well. The Torx for the transfer case to fill the oil. Then we have a reduction to three quarter, reduction from three quarter to half inch drive, an extension and a nut for the drive shafts. For the drive shaft also a 14 mil would fit, but um, that tool is actually not too expensive and pretty handy. Then I have a normal wrench with a half inch drive for suspension parts and everything that's a little tighter, so you can open it easily with the long one. Okay, now we have a problem. For everything that's smaller, we have a three quarter inch or three eight. Yeah, three eight inch drive with all the sizes from eight till 22 to do stuff around the engine because screws are normally not that tight and uh, you don't have so much space. So the shorter one is really handy. For the really small stuff and for torques and so and allen keys we have one quarter inch drive wrench. I use that also quite a bit. This seems pretty bulky but you can store some nuts inside the bigger ones so all the space is used. On this end is a tire fixing kit. I didn't need to use it yet with the Defender, but with some other cars. Yeah, it's basically if you drive into a screw or nail, you can fix it yourself. Especially when you're in the bush. We don't do many fires, but I still brought an axe and a small saw. That could also help if you have a tree or like a bigger branch in the way that you want to remove. A meter and a caliper. If you need to measure like um, bearings if you want to buy something or you need a seal or whatever so that's good to have also the meter I used to measure the height of the car exactly to make sure we fit through the door of the container without putting the roof rack down <laughs> screwdrivers, allen keys and a set of bolts, nuts, washers so you can fix something temporarily when you don't have the right bolts or so at a hand. Ribbits and the tool for it because the Defender has a lot of ribbits around I didn't want to go without. Universal seal that's oil resistant and high temperature resistant. I just bought it the other day but normally I have it always with me. Loctite sealing tape to do our own service. I have the strap for the oil filter that's a little bit difficult to get to at the TD5. A grease gun, actually the second one 
we had to buy one in Iran because one got stolen. I have a steering wheel puller that I basically made myself. You need that to pull off the steering wheel. I modified it a bit to pull off some bearings the other day as well at the alternator. I have a clamp for coolant hoses or oil hoses. So if I need to disconnect something, I will not lose all the oil or coolant. Cutter, knife, sandpaper, and I think it's file, but I don't know. I got a couple of pliers, normal ones, pointy ones. They are handy to remove the pins from the brake pads and from the window winder. Uh, electrical pliers to cut cables and that's for the safety rings, especially at the drive flanges. You need some of them. Old screwdriver, a couple of chisels to maybe open some nuts or put out bearings and stuff or put together stuff. I always bring some of those. Then what I forgot in the middle, is a small power drill, some drill bits. I actually didn't bring it at the first place. As we were back in Germany, I then took it. I used it already a couple of times. All the loose tools fit into my small metal box that is perfect to put it underneath the second floor. Only the bigger things like the power drill, the grease pump, the nuts and the wrench set, they are outside and also the tire fixing kit. In tools I generally buy brands. I have most of my tools from Stahlwille, Fiskars, ARB, Vera, all well-known brands because I hate when tools break during a repair. It just causes you a lot of headache, so better spend a little bit more money on it and you will have it for all your life. I'm really happy with what I bring. So far I only missed the 27 Spanner. The Defender is not known as the most reliable car. That's why we bring quite a bit of tools and I used almost all of them already with the small hiccups that the car is producing. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, is there something missing? Are you bringing something else? Or do you think at all we have way too much tools? So thank you for watching. See you next time.